So Alex Jones, a far-right political extremist and a conspiracy theorist, also the host of The Alex Jones Show, a national radio talk show held in Austin, Texas, that reaches millions of people daily. Now he has to pay almost one bill in defamation charges to the family of eight victims of the 2012 Sandy Hook incident, which took place in the Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. So this all started when Mr. Jones here stated that the Sandy Hook incident was fake or a complete hoax, as he calls it, in order to abuse the system and implement much harsher weapon laws. He even called the families of the victims and the victims themselves as actors. So on April 17th, 2018, a few parents of the victims sued Jones for defamation as his influence caused the family to receive hate and negative attention because of his claims. Jones later stated that he was wrong and the shooting was real. But yeah, you missed the deadline on that, sir. Although it was a nice gesture though, I'm sure they would appreciate it. Now, six more families decided to sue Alex as well on May 2018, and as a result, he and Infowars were fined $126,000 towards the end of 2019. In case you didn't know, Infowars is a website owned by Alex Jones to spread all sorts of conspiracy theories and news across the web. So yeah, Alex took a big hit there. However, it didn't stop there. The case came back to bite him on the ass again. In October 2021, Jones was ordered to pay for damages and he even failed to hand over crucial documents that was requested by the court as well, as if he wasn't in enough bullshit already. Now he does this. Later, Jones filed for bankruptcy as a result of the toll the lawsuits took on him. But no, he was met with a nice surprise instead in a form of a hefty $4.1 million fine as compensatory damages to the Sandy Hook victims' families on August 4th and an even nicer surprise of $42.5 million as punitive damages the next day. Ugh, GG's. Now two months later, on October 12th, Jones was ordered to pay $965 million in damages to the families of the Sandy Hook victims. Wow, now that's a lot. Ugh, I wish I had that kind of money. But yeah, how is he even gonna pay that back, huh? Well, after researching for a bit, I got some sort of an idea about his net worth. So an economist during his trial estimate that Jones has a net worth of around $135 to $270 million. That's a start, but this isn't accurate as he didn't confirm it. Instead, he filed for bankruptcy. On another website, Celebrity Net Worth estimates his net worth to be around $900 million as he made a considerable amount of money from his website and the merchandise sold there as well, which offered items such as diet supplements, clothing, and other items such as coffee. He even published a few books, which brought even more money to him, and many claimed that his fake shooting claims was to promote or increase traffic to his website so he could profit over it, which makes sense considering how big of an impact it had. He even guest starred in various talk shows, such as the Joe Rogan's podcast, which further increased his audience, in other words, his profits. So yeah, let me know in the comments below how much you think his net worth is, and how is he gonna pay it all back. Apart from that, be sure to subscribe and drop a like below if you enjoyed this. And that is all for today folks. Have a great day and bye.